the main constraints hindering the productivity of livestock sector in Kenya are diseases, poor nutrition, poor breeding policies and poor management. In terms of diseases, the most common ones affecting sheep and goats are pneumonia, PPR that is peste dispestitis ruminans, anthrax, foot rot, brucellosis, helminothis, sheep and goat pox, trypanosomiasis, blue tongue, tuberculosis and rift valley fever among others. In Kenya, for easy penetration and detection of a disease outbreak, the government has set aside sentinel herds in conjunction with the Rift Valley Vet Investigation Labs to assist farmers. Sentinel herd is a form of active surveillance suited to those diseases where incidence data is required and where the disease is fairly common. Sentinel herds are not suitable for periodic diseases. They have been used for Avra's monitoring in cattle, sheep and goats. On today's show, we visit Top Farm in Naivasha, which is a sentinel herd of sheep and goats that are used as test subjects to detect and predict diseases. Dr. Ayeko from RVIL in Nakuru highlights that the herd is used for collecting serum to test for outbreaks of diseases such as Rift Valley fever, among other diseases. The government has established a number of uh, farms where we keep animals which are susceptible to the disease and uh, those animals are not supposed to be uh, treated or vaccinated in order to prevent the disease. We let them be exposed in case there is a problem, but we regularly check their health status to find out whether there is any activity of that disease. Such a kind of uh, surveillance activities, we call them sentinel surveillance. Uh, an example of them is, uh, is found in Naivasha, and it is a herd of sheep which we use to uh, monitor the disease called Rift Valley Fever, which occurs during rain periods when mosquitoes which transmit the disease are high in population. So we carry out that activity. This is the top farm, sheep and goat farm Naivasha. It's a government farm where we as the VIL Nakuru come to collect serum every once in a while uh, as scheduled in order to screen for Rift Valley fever. Now this herd is called a sentinel herd. Now sentinel herds are groups of animals that are they can be of any species. They can be camels, they can be horses, they can be sheep, like in this case. Now this group of animals are kept uh, in special conditions uh, for purposes of uh, screening against uh, certain diseases that are being monitored. In this case, uh, sheep and goats are screened for Rift Valley fever virus. If we find antibodies against uh, Rift Valley fever in these animals, then we have reason to suspect that there's a uh, circulating Rift Valley fever uh, infection. In the past few decades, vector-borne diseases have been spreading into countries. It is necessary for a civilian's method to be tailored to the biology of these agents in order to detect the spread. Since the 1970s, diseases such as vascular stomatitis and blue tongue disease have successfully been monitored using cattle and sheep herds as sentinel in many countries such as Saudi Arabia, Australia, China, Indonesia, Kenya and Sultanate of Oman. Sentinel herds are important means of obtaining baseline epidemical information on Rift Valley fever. Dr. Ayeko further explains the importance of sentinel herd to farmers. Now this is important not only for the farmers, but also for the human population. Because when we are able to detect at the earliest onset of disease that there is a Rift Valley fever, then interventions can be made, uh, both in terms of uh, uh, animal interventions and also the human, human medical side. Um, we collect serum, 
We process it at the VIL Nakuru and we transmit it to the Central Veterinary Lab in Kabete for a confirmation of the status. In Kenya, the common use sentinel herds are grazed in sheep and goat government farm in Rift Valley region, known by men as the Sheep and Goat Top Farm. Top Farm was established in 1972 by the government of Kenya in collaboration with FAO to keep sheep and goats for sale to farmers. On this 400 piece of acre land, they habitat about 1,200 sheep and goats. The herd feeds on mainly stag grass as it grows well in the area due to the climate condition. Mr. John Kayere, the farm manager of Top Farm, has been working here for more than three years now. He elaborates more on the mandate of the Top Farm and its relevance to farmers. This farm is a complex place. Uh, it comprises of uh, curry, it comprises of DTI, LRC, and also sheep and goats. We occupy um, an area of uh, 400 acres of land out of 2,645 acres of land. Uh, our annual rainfall is between 300 millimeters and 700 millimeters every year. So the natural vegetation of this place is just star grass. Um, and then this farm comprises of two farms. We have, this one is called Top Farm, and we have another one called Olumagogo, which is 20 kilometers apart. They are under one officer in charge. So we keep uh, small ruminants, that's, those are sheep and goats. So we have a population of around 1,200 animals. This farm also has uh, 200 animals, and the other farm has 1,000 animals. The breeds that we keep on this farm, there are uh, three in terms of sheep and two in terms of uh, goats. In terms of sheep, we have the dopa, we have the red uh, Maasai, which is just our local breed, and we have the merino. The dopa and the red Maasai are just for meat. The merino, we keep it for wool production. Uh, the goats that we have, we have the gala, and also we have the small East African goat. Uh, both of them are just kept just for meat production. And uh, our work actually here is just to produce, to breed, so that we sell them to the farmers at the end of the year. So we sell once in a year. The regional vet lab in Nakuru has a great role in the Sentinel herd as they take samples of blood and serum. They use these samples to survey any disease that may attack or have any attack in the sentinel herd for early prevention of disease and control. Top Farm, in collaboration with the Kenya Agricultural Research Institute and other organizations, have sent a sentinel herd of 80 animals that they use as test subjects to detect disease outbreaks in the Rift Valley region. Mr. John Kayere expounds further on the farm's objective and how they are able to assist farmers in disease control. With this work of research and collaboration um, in small ruminants, especially healthcare, what is just being done just on this farm right now, uh, we do it with the conjunction with the curry, uh, uh, airy, uh, district veterinary uh, services and also universities. We have set up a sentiment hub for Rift Valley surveillance. So we have a herd of 80 animals which we have set apart. Uh, these animals are in different breeds. We have the Dopa, the Red Maasai and the, uh, the, the Merino. Uh, we, identify, we, we identify them and each animal has got an ear tag. So those numbers are just different from the other breeds. So those settlement animals, uh, 80, they have different, uh, different ear tag numbers for the purpose of early detection of Rift Valley fever. And objective is enhancing our emergency response to and preparedness for Rift Valley fever. 
So that is our objective. The evaluation team is composed of the chief uh, veterinary field office, uh, chief veterinary investigation office, uh, veterinary epidemiologic and economic unit, uh, regional VILs, uh, district veterinary office, and farm managers. Top Farm has helped farmers treat and control diseases such as Rift Valley fever on their flock in advance for the last five years.